Right, welcome back to part 9, and I will continue on with my thingy, what do you call Argument it? Argument why the French are actually useful. Yeah, because... Meanwhile, I'm going to play unsettling music. Oh god. No, do go on. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> with the French, when you, learn in, when you learn in history, generally about like medieval and wars and stuff, who is always the enemy? The French. Uh, and sometimes, like, the help. Spanish Armada? Uh, yeah. But, you know, that's the Spanish. World War One, World War Two. They were on our side. Exactly. I know, but I was going to move on to say, if you let me speak, I was going to move on to say that, in fact, they are very helpful. I don't know, at World War Two, they got beaten by the Germans, which is incredible. No, but at, at least they They're tried to help us. Wars. Yeah, the... Yeah, well done. Don't ask me why I paused here. I, th I think it was a problem with the recording. Anyway, do continue your pointless argument. <laughs> no, because as I was saying before you rudely interrupted, um, I, I actually think that they are very useful in wars. I'll tell you what I say to that. What? Yes? You don't want to play that again because I didn't hear that. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. That okay? I heard that. <laughs> what? I heard that that time. Okay, good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, off with the French, now with Crimson Head, which you've missed fighting about 500 million of them. Bring your shotgun if you want, but then again, you won't have your machine gun for the boss fight. So if you've got you're using it right you now. Keep swapping in between. But yeah, you may want to bring your shotgun if you fancy going for an A. Yeah. But you apparently don't. No, because I'm. You're always getting B's and C's because you've done I've never got a C in this whole playthrough. You will at some point. I can guarantee. No, because if I do, I just re-record it. <laughs> Wow, so you could so you could have re-recorded everything. I could have, mm -hmm. but I, but I'm not proud, you know. So yeah. So I'm in other words, people, he's a nutter failure. I'm not a nutter failure. Now we know this. A's and B's across the board. What the hell? Yes, because you've recorded about seven times. I've recorded about seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Let the truth out, Chris. You Stop know. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> but. And he's a very crusty guy, which I actually Three, feel sorry for. Two, one, crusty man! Okay. I did that count all wrong, but hey. But yeah. Um, oh, he's dead. I feel sorry for this guy, though, because all the other zombies are, like, hanging out, like, in the mansion, like, all living it uh, up. Uh, they're living in it up there with their chandeliers and their... Uh, Ooh, Ivan's coming. But this guy is just, like, he's uh, this guy by himself is in the sewer. Feel yes. sorry. And this guy here is a complete and utter rem. Yeah. He. I think what happens is actually I'll just I'll just commentate as it's eternal masochist. And they're always Russian. The Russians are good. All right, all right. In a in a American film or video game. That's better to start with. Right. Even though I can't really say that for this because this is a Japanese game, but. The villain is either Russian or British. Yeah, either very British or Russian. Because you don't see any Yorkshire. What's this? What's this? <laughs> I'm Why? going to fight my thingy to make it cool. Oh no crap, I just cut myself. I totally oh well, I'll just make it look like I'm meant to do it. Me while I bandage this up. Roar, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ivan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, shoot at his head, because he's wearing a massive protection jacket I missed with the rocket launcher. Don't shoot anywhere else. Started running just Let's go shot. machine gun. And um, again, that's about it. So yeah, it's all just shoot them with the machine gun in the head though, isn't yeah. it? So, keep going in the head. Even yeah. when you fire a rocket launcher, it'll, do, it'll deal a great more damage when you shoot in the head. But he, but he lowers his head when he runs, as I just found, found out. So, yeah. Uh, feel free to use grenades. Uh, but 
uh, I recommend you use them while he's running towards you. So stop him in his tracks so you can get a few free hits. There is a herb on the left down by the train. It's changed now. Alright, on your direct left from this screen at this point in time here. See I just hit his coat. It didn't do half as much damage as it would have done. And when he jumps on top of you, just shoot him in his stupid schooly eye face. Yeah. Does he uh, actually look like that or is he wearing a mask? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Is he a zombie or is he just like a like an assistant? He's a tyrant. He's a very high caliber tyrant. He's not. Doesn't look like one. Ones, but you know he can be controlled more. He's nearly dead anyway. Yep. Yep. Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna go down to the wire here. Ah! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well. No problems. My name is Ivan. The handgun. <laughs> yeah, I totally did that with just a handgun. Yeah. Because I'm awesome. Just like switch to a knife. I did that all with my knife. Yes. <laughs> I guess he didn't like his lesson. Now, and I learned mine as well. Hence the badge banded. Ba ba oh my god, I forgot the word. Um, banded round my head and my hand. I was just sort of staring at the camera, sort of like, ooh. Oh, what? Ivan's still alive? Oh. Eh. And we have to fight him later, and his twin! He has a twin? Yeah. Or is he one of the sex toddlers? That's what he's called. Frenchie. No. Steve. No. Um. Leska. No. Marvin. No. Revis. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't. Tell you. Yeah, carry on. Ivan. Okay. They couldn't be bothered using two names, and now it's time to use your mansion house. Yeah. That the real one, the original one. And the competition's still going. Yes. Guess yeah. the reference. And if there's like no, what's it for a number of parts? Then give a clue. The mansion incident. We need to get out of the mansion. I can't do a Wesky voice. You know what the stars actually stands for? Uh, uh special something or other thing with Jiggy. It'll come to me. Special. Of course, this is Resident Evil 1 where it all began. Fair enough. Yes. Or Biohazard, as it was originally called in Japan, and it still is originally called in Japan, meaning, you know, problem with biological weaponry, which calls the zombies, so that's very fitting. I don't quite get Resident Evil. I've, I've sort of got a theory with it, like, Resident as in quite close to you because it's humans who are being infected and evil because all the. I'll go check it out. You know, it's dangerous going alone. Machine things. I'll come with you. Yes. That's, oh, okay. that's all I've got. I will stay. Okay. I'll, stay the I'll go be evil. Uh, ooh, I'll be not evil somewhere else. <laughs> oh, but Chris and Jill must be pretty thick. Just, just like how Wesker acts and everything. Not to think he's evil. Oh, I'm just going to stand here. I'll secure the area. So yeah, this scenario is starring Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine and Barry Benton as Sir not appearing in this scenario for some reason. Oh, that is so obvious. What? Special Tactics and Rescue Squad. Yeah, that's the one. I just looked it up. That's how awesome I am. I was looking it up as well, but Firefox was updating. So it took Oh, me. yeah. Kevin! On the floor, I think. You don't look like uh, him. He's very crusty. And we will see more crusty people in part 10. Goodbye.